Thank you for coming to the Moshita Art Center. And I'm glad you are here to look at my show, uh, Cabinet de Curiosité. And I hope this show will inspire you and will bring you back to the times that these objects were uh, still in use. People like to come to see objects because these objects have been part of their life and uh, this uh, part of their life will uh, be, come to surface again as they see these objects. This reminds to them the time they were using it. I think it's a little bit of nostalgia uh, that, uh, of the time that have been passing. I go very often to flea markets in Luxembourg and one is uh, in Brussels uh, where I like to go and I must say there is a, a big crowd of people you cannot pass because it's so crowded of people who want to see how the times, how times have been changing and what did people like at this time they were living. I like to go to flea markets because uh, it's something going back into time, going back uh, to, uh, to these uh, forgotten times, but they are not so forgotten, they remain in our hearts and we like to be remembered by seeing objects uh, they uh, uh, that are shown, that are on the, uh, that are to be sold. I think if they buy things uh, by bringing them home, so that's a materialization of their of their wishes. They want to have this material, this uh, object in hand, or maybe it's not this object precisely, but an object that uh, reminds them of uh, their use or of how their parents used it or, uh, or uh, their mother or, uh, or anybody else, a friend or so. I'm, I'm a photographer. And I like, to, I like to find objects that uh, may not be uh, uh, evoking some memories, but I see it in, an, on, in one of my photos, on one of my, in one of my still lives. So it may, may become a completely different uh, expression than it was originally used. It's always then combined to other things I have bought and it's a combination between these objects that make it, for, make it for me interesting for taking a photo out of it. There are some objects I cannot get rid of. They are always coming back. And don't ask me why. They are, maybe they have no interest at all, but it is the shape it is the color, it is the texture, it is the size, and uh, I see it uh, then always in combination to other things. Maybe to a doll, or maybe to fruits, or maybe to uh, vegetables. Some objects become like, uh, uh, become personal, like a person, and this person is imposing herself always to be if, uh, to be part of my of my photos, it's like uh, people who always want want them want me to take photos of them, and they are standing there and say hello. Uh, have you forgotten me? And then uh, I, be I have become I get a bad conscience for not having used them for maybe two weeks or maybe six months. So they get mad at me. There is always a dialogue between several objects and uh, it's, uh, if one object alone has a certain sense or a certain, let's say, personality, this uh, sense or personality may become different as the other object I'm using with it 
uh, depending on the object I'm using with it. So it be may become, let's say in categories, it became, may become bad, or it may become beautiful, or maybe it will not be beautiful at all anymore because the other object is uh, uh, more beautiful, has more expression than the, the first one. So there's always a game between, it's a fight between the photographer, me, and the different uh, objects. They're always fighting to have, to, to, be, uh, to be the star of my, of my work. They are completely competing for my attention. And uh, that is why, as you can see on, uh, uh, on the invitation, that uh, I'm always keeping those objects. And they're standing always uh, in my, I'm passing there every day when I go to my dark room. And uh, so I was, I'm passing all these objects and I have a look at them. And then I start building imaginary uh, uh, still lives. I'm changing and I'm adding and I'm taking away. Or uh, I turn them around and uh, I fix different things on them. It's, it's a completely a never ending, uh, a never ending love story. <laughs> Sometimes people, uh, as people say, to make such photos you must have a very weird mind. And uh, then I answer, yes, uh, if you see the same thing what I did, means that your mind is just as weird as mine. But uh, of course the objects, they, uh, they wouldn't uh, uh, admit that they are weird objects. As you, can, as you see my photos, you see that I have uh, a certain big sense of humor. And uh, maybe it's not always that I can uh, pass a message that there is some humor in it. But uh, it's essential that uh, that you see that I'm taking myself not too, too serious. In my still life, you find also some erotical objects, and uh, I also I always want to combine erotics in my photos, n not by myself, but in my photos, on a uh, humoristic way. It should not be taken too serious. It's. Uh, it's uh, like uh, a sign that people should look at it as an erotical object or an erotical scene, but uh, with a sense of with a sense of humor. It should not be. I, I don't want to be a real erotical uh, photographer, but it's always it should be seen uh, in the whole of my. Uh, of my, uh, of my work. It's a part of my work, this is erotical. I like to choose uh, to find uh, erotical uh, plants or fruits or whatever uh, objects. I agree that uh, sometimes uh, there is a, a little bit uh, the cruelty, cru cruelty and uh, that it's, uh, it makes some discomfort. But uh, that I must, uh, I admit it and uh, I cannot change it. And people have to, uh, to cope with that. Mostly people go to museums to see something nice and something uh, not disturbing them. They like to see flowers or to see nice people, or, uh, uh, but I don't. Uh, I would like to bring them back to a certain reality. And uh, life is not always uh, life is not always very beautiful. Life is not uh, is not nice, and that's we have to uh, we have to consider. And I don't want, uh, if people come to a place where they uh, 
where they are, they are supposed to find some beautiful things that make them comfortable. So I want to disturb that. I want to say, no, no, that's not, uh, it's not, uh, all, life is not like that. That is why the sense of humor um, helps. And one point is uh, that uh, a, a gallerist in Paris told me that I I'm, I'm, uh, want to uh, make some strong photos, disturbing photos, but then I destroy the message I want to do, I want to give, by making my photos perfect. By, uh, so, to, take, to keep away this cruelty that might be there. And uh, he didn't want the photos to be perfect. Because they are perfect, they are, uh, they get again beautiful. And I, want, I don't want them to be beautiful. I want people to be shocked by some photos. And people tell me that they are shocked by some photos. But I wanted to make a nice photo. <laughs> I am satisfied when, pe when people really see what I wanted to mean. I have a message, and if this me message is not understood, so there is no message. A message is only a message that is uh, understood, where people... Uh, uh, where people uh, uh, know how to react on it. So if they don't understand, there is, there's no reaction. And that's in... Uh, uh, in some way, people always want to have some explanations. And, uh, and I make some... Uh, uh, if I make titles on it, that would mean that I'm uh, bringing people in the direction I was thinking. And so uh, it's, uh, uh, it's like French say, un mode d'emploi. And I don't want to have a mode d'emploi, how to look at it. Everybody looks at it with his, uh, with his background, with his feelings. How he, how he did live, and maybe only how he got up this morning. Is he, has he, does he have a headache, or she? And uh, all this can change uh, the approach of, uh, of, uh, of a piece of art, not only on my things. If you had a bad experience that morning, so... Uh, you look at, at the world differently than uh, if you had a uh, really good experience. Why I came to, uh, to still life in photography is that I can, uh, I can really do what I want. And it's, uh, it's like an, an author writing a novel, so uh, he can kill his uh, hero. And uh, he can do with him what he wants. And so I can do with the objects what I want. And nobody, I'm completely free to do what I want. Maybe the, sometimes the objects, they, uh, they don't like the way I'm showing them. But uh, I have to, to take decisions. And uh, I feel very comfortable when I do it. Uh, I, it's like an, I'm a little bit like Zen. I'm so focused on it that I forget the world around me, and I'm, I'm getting part of my uh, of my still life. And uh, I have made some. Oh, photographers came to make portraits of me, and then I wanted to be part of my uh, uh, of my objects. And uh, I may also meet some self-portraits where some bugs are coming out of, uh, of my hair or some legs coming out of my, from a doll coming out of my mouth. So I really want then, I want to be part of the work I am doing. I want to uncover, I don't, I, I don't want to, to hide something in myself. 
because if you start to hide something, so it doesn't become real. It does. It does not become sincere. And I want to have uh, that my photos are sincere. I cannot control that. What I what I am or what I want to be. I know what I want to be, but I don't know what I am. <laughs> Oh, yes, or what I want to become. I want to, I want to stay the way I am. And uh, I feel fine the way I am, most of the time. Yes. <laughs>